Well, they ain't got no jobs. They ain't got nothing for you to do. This is what you do. You're a school teacher or have something to do with the education. Yeah. Or you drive a school bus. Mm -hmm. You drive a school bus, you're a school teacher, you help out at the schools. You're in health care. You're at one of the hospitals, one of the medical centers, one of the clinics. Mm -hmm. That's the two biggies. School, health care. I get really excited when I start passing those coal trucks uh -huh. on the road because that means somebody's working. Mm -hmm. And when I see a train load of coal, somebody's working. Uh -huh. And I'm happy about that because uh, it's been really traumatic for those of us who have lived here all of our lives and knew that it was our only industry. It tugs at our heartstrings about the idea of people having to leave, being forced to leave a place that they know, to move to a faceless city and become one of many um, cogs and machines. So that's a background question. Do people have a right to live in the place that they're from? Because I wouldn't be alive without this place. I mean, the person that neglects their roots are just wilting plants. You build upon uh, things that, effect, that affected you adversely. Mm -hmm. um, this place has affected me very wonderfully and very adversely. I would love to take this sort of like shit that I've lived and then make it into this like, no, a bed of carnations. That's, I was going to say a rose garden. That's, too, that's no, it's too much. A bed of carnations. Yeah. I just want to, I want to keep living in this bed of carnations. Mm -hmm. There's a group of people that's coming up with, with new ideas and new sustainability ideas right. for the economy that is gaining strength. And I think there's people like Neil and I and the rest of the Culture Hub that are getting our feet under us mm -hmm. and, uh, and are being activated uh, through the power of others in the Hub mm -hmm. to to affect change mm -hmm. around this county. When I heard that Easy Broomfield was going to be sitting on an active board, uh, probably <laughs> one of the most important boards that's ever been seated in this county, I was like, yes, <laughs> things are happening in Lester that's County. Right. It had been announced that we were both going to be on the broadband board here in Lecher County together, mm -hmm. um, but we hadn't really gotten to know each other much. Um, and at some point, maybe two thirds of the way through the day, he made some remark about um, someone like me two years ago could have never been on, you know, the county government at all, which, you know, there was kind of like a tension in the room and a pause and people kind of looked at me to like judge my reaction and I didn't take any offense to it. I mean, I almost took it as a compliment in a weird way. He was remarking on the transition, you know, mm -hmm. the openness, the change. As a queer person growing up in Eastern Kentucky, I've always felt like I have to um, be so good at what I do that I can't be judged for who I am. Mm -hmm. And um, I felt like that was a kind of an affirming moment in that sense, you know. I, ha I, I have gotten good enough at what I do that that was kind of being recognized there. And mm -hmm. this person who um, you know, we haven't um, gone too deep into politics and things like that. I'd imagine there's a lot that we don't agree on, but um, that's not what's really important, you know? I think the Culture Hub has given us a space where we can work on other things that we do agree on. Just the, uh, the camaraderie and the coming uh, to the table and talking um, and brainstorming, brainstorming ways to uh, overcome obstacles that we that we all had in common mm -hmm. but that we had never talked about and mm -hmm. I'll give you an example of that um, the uh, electric bills mm -hmm. have always been a problem for each and every organization that's a mm -hmm. part of the culture hub yeah. but we had never discussed it but we began to discuss that at a culture hub meeting and now we've had an energy audit on each of the facilities mm -hmm and um, there are some things in place that are going to help us yeah. with that. Basically in our culture it, it's ingrained in you. You keep your head down, stay focused on what you're doing and don't worry about what the other fellow is going through. Yeah. Um, so basically we were in our own little groups mm -hmm. keeping our head down and, and, and doing what we thought we need to be doing 
and you know not really paying attention to what went on across the county. In other words, you would call it, we've always fought our own battles. Yeah. And none of us got together and tried to fight mm. the whole war. Sure. And now that Ben has come in, he said, everybody needs to be together. And it's, he's brought, I don't know what you would call into it, a cohesion, I guess, uh -huh. of people that says, oh, we're better off to work together now. Yeah. And we see where we need to be. Yeah. And everybody needs, I may be completely uh, not exactly agreeing with everything that they do, and I'm sure they don't agree with everything that uh -huh. we do, but like I was talking a while ago, we can work together. Yeah. With all of us banding together, there's just so many opportunities here in the county. Mm -hmm. It's a, such an incredible group of people that are leading um, the way in their own communities. Um, I don't know, to me, there's a lot of energy. I, I'm just getting chills thinking about it. There's, there's a, lot a lot of energy. Lot of diversity. There's a lot of diversity. There's a lot of, um, I don't know, it's just it, different ideas and different um, outlooks, but everybody's very respectful when they yes. talk to each other. The, there was so many things that were looking so negative for mm -hmm. our community and our county in the state of Kentucky in, in a lot of ways that we, but when, once we started to organize and once the, every organization came together mm -hmm. and sat down at a table and mm -hmm. talked about these things, we felt power and strength and confidence mm -hmm to go ahead and keep going and to start looking at new and different ways and to establish uh, um, a stronger center of support for each other.